Hey folks, today we're going to be working on my main file server. I have redone this server slightly uh, since I last made a video about it, and that was in terms of the software. It's still running Debian Linux. Let me get some light on the situation here. Yeah, anyway, it's still running Debian Linux on these four 2 terabyte Hitachi hard drives in RAID 10. Uh, however, I have switched from ButterFS uh, to XFS with MD RAID. So basically, that's MD RAID is another form of software RAID that has been around a lot longer than ButterFS. I found that ButterFS is a little bit slow, uh, so I've switched to that on this server as well as my secondary server over there uh, with four one terabyte disks in it. That also uses the XFS file system in RAID 10 with MD RAID on CentOS 7 Linux. So that one's changed OS's but essentially works the same way as it always did. I've just switched uh, the way I do RAID around. So that's one major change I made but it still basically works the same way. I access it via SSH to do everything pretty much. And this file server is my most crucial one. It has the data that cannot go away. So I decided that not only would it improve performance to use XFS in with MD RAID, but it would also be a little bit more stable because ButterFS is very new. I wanted to give it a try because it looked pretty easy to use, but MD RAID's actually much, much easier, and I'll have to do a video about uh, how to do MD RAID at some point on a couple different Linux OS's because it's really it it just runs so well and it's really worth knowing about. Now what do I have today? I have some upgrades. I have two hard drives here. I have, I finally was able to get two more of these two terabyte hard drives. So then I'll have a full six in here. This, I believe, has seven hard drive bays. So I can have six drives in RAID 10 and have one spare drive. So if a drive goes out, it can switch to the spare. Uh, I'm not sure whether I'm going to do that or not. I would like to, but uh, it depends how well this... Uh, this poor Akbell power supply can handle it. I'm already pushing it with six drives. So, you know, plus I have... I need to use one of these to convert it. Because <laughs> it wasn't designed... Well, this... Actually, the power supply was designed with four drives in mind. It was designed for a Sun workstation that had four IDE drives or SCSI drives or something. So, you know, there you go. So, these are the upgrades in store for today. I got two more two-terabyte... HGST hard drives. These drives were made in October 2015, which I think is newer than what's on these drives. These drives are probably from 2014, I would say. These two are a bit newer, and they'll be added to the RAID array. Uh, and, of course, I'll have to grow the MD RAID partition so it can uh, take advantage of these two new disks. So then, what basically what will be the case is that I'll have six terabytes of space and six terabytes of redundant space. So, there you go. Gonna upgrade that to RAID 10. Otherwise, this uh, Super Micro board with the Pentium Dual Core on it's been working out extremely well. Very, very happy with it. So, finally gonna add some more storage to this server. So, I'll put the drives in, take care of that, and then uh, we'll take a look at uh, uh, Webmin just to verify that everything went well. I'll be back soon. Alright, I have this guy all buttoned up. Take a look at that. Got six drives in there. I have room for a seventh. And I forgot that this board only has six SATA ports, and I filled up all of them, if you take a look right there. I filled up all of them. That's odd. That one cable's a little bit discolored and more purple than the others. <laughs> Strange. And then I have one black cable that's the last drive. And there you go. All six two terabyte drives. All of them are in RAID 10, so the storage is cut in half. So, yeah. This will be a nice system. As you can tell, it's got some dust in it. I'm, I need to blow that out. I might do that this spring. Uh, if the ventilation is bad, it is too bad or something. Yeah, I'm, pr I'm probably going to take all these computers and blow them out towards the spring when it's not quite as cold out be nice to the equipment a little bit 
Yeah, but there you go. That's the server all buttoned up. Now I just need to repartition it. Or I don't need to repartition it. I need to add these two drives to the RAID array and then grow the XFS file system. Redo my swap partition so it's across all these disks because I raided my swap. Um, so, there you go. Oh, well, yeah, I don't think I mentioned that. I actually made a swap partition uh, that's rated across all the drives. Whereas last time I had no swap at all and I only have a 4 gig stick of RAM in here. So, yeah, I'm going to redo that. And, uh, yeah, there you have it. So, basically, the procedure of doing that is I got to insert a USB stick with Ubuntu or something on it and then partition the disks just the same way the others are. Then add the disks to the array. And I have to redo the whole, I have to redo my swap MD uh, rated partition. And, uh, yeah, that's a thing. So, I'll show you once I get to it. So, I'm going to do that. There we go. Okay, so here's my bunch of servers all back in a row. This is probably not going to stay here. This is just here because it's a place to put it. But these are the two servers that are in use right now. This is just kind of sitting here. And I have all the drives in here. Now, I was going to show you a bunch of stuff, but I had to figure things out as I was going along. And I'll tell you what I figured out. So, I made an Ubuntu USB stick to partition the drives. I gave the two drives I put in there the same exact partition scheme as the, the other four drives I had in there, which was... Uh, how much swap did I put in there? I can't remember. I think about 8 gigs of swap. This is exactly what I did. These are my notes from yesterday when I was partitioning. I... Uh, it was like a it was 7.45 gigabytes or s for swap and 1.81 terabytes for uh, the root partition and of course I put the RAID flag on it so that it can be used for MD RAID. I did all that with G parted with an Ubuntu USB stick. It's dead easy to do. So that's what I did for those two drives in the, this machine over here. And then what I did is something else. Uh, I basically grew the file system. Um, let me correct that. Here's what I used uh, MD admin to do. So, this is just an example, but uh, MD0 is the whole RAID array. MD0 is one RAID array, MD1 is another RAID array. So, what this allows you to do is have multiple RAID arrays which uh, I'm not sure you can do that with ButterFS, but you can definitely do it with MD RAID. Um, so, MD Admin, I added both drives. That would be, that in this case, for MD0 on mine, it would be SDE2 and SDF2, the first being A through D. Um, and, of course, for the, for the rated swap, I added uh, SDE1 and SDE2 on MD1. And... Uh, what I did is, since uh, I originally made the array with four devices, I grew this array to have six devices uh, for both MD0 and MD1. I used XFS grow, I used XFS underscore growFS command with the root partition at the end of that to, uh, uh, you know, give, give myself the maximum amount of space. And once you run this command, you reboot, and then it'll uh, grow the file system in a very short amount of time. And then uh, once you're booted back up, you ended up you end up with uh, uh, you you end up with uh, you know all that extra space. You can see that I have six drives up here with all their temperatures, uh, and of course SDB and SDD are high temperatures for some reason, 35 degrees C. But the two new drives at the end, you can see, are pretty cold, 31 and 32, so that's not too bad. system hasn't been up that long. I'm filming this sort of the next day after this is all done. But as you can, as you can see, when you look at the uh, local disk space, you have 6 terabytes, uh, more or less. So you get, um, you get uh, the 6 terabytes of space and 6 terabytes of redundancy, and I'm only... I'm, using just under half of that so I'll have I'll be able to use this server for a while and maybe replace a drive every now and then if it goes bad but there you go that was a successful upgrade uh, this server should 
this is the last thing I really wanted to do with the server until it just has another entire overhaul. Um, I'm probably not going to upgrade the storage on it until I just pull out the board and make a new server entirely one of these days, which I don't think I'll have to do for a while because I have six terabytes of space. Plus the junk drawer over here, which has another um, two terabytes right now, but I think it will have it'll have three when I end up putting uh, two more drives in that as well. And there will be a video about that too. So this is an update on the main file server. It's upgraded to six terabytes of space. And all is hunky-dory. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.